Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with World of Warcraft Season of Mastery, uh, World of Warcraft Classic Season of Mastery, and we are starting something brand new today that we've never played before and never done before in my many years of WoW, we are starting a World of Warcraft Hardcore Run. You guys voted on that, I actually posted the, uh, the poll on uh, YouTube uh, last week, and we are starting this off right. We are starting a brand new Season of Mastery character where death equals delete. Uh, it's going to be a hardcore run. And before we get started here, I kind of wanted to go through the rules of what we're going to be looking at for this hardcore run since I've never done it before. And I am actually going to be using uh, the hardcore rules from Classic Hardcore. Uh, it, they also did the first hardcore Ragnaros run. Uh, Road to Ragnaros back in WoW Classic. And we're going to play this up a little more um, immersive than my some of my other playthroughs. I'm going to read all the quest texts. Uh, we're not using any add-ons whatsoever. So it's going to be like 2004 all over again. We're starting fresh with WoW and we're going to uh, play on Blood Cell Buccaneers. It's an RP server uh, where most of the hardcore runs happen. And it's the only server in all of WoW Classic that still has uh, population. It has a medium population. There's actually quite a few people, and I've heard that Alliance is more populated than Horde, which is very uh, interesting to me, but that's good. So I thought we'd run through the rules this morning of what what this hardcore run is going to look like um, before we really get started. So the first thing is death equals delete or ghost form. So basically what that means is if we die, we're done with this character. Uh, we're going to take it very, very easy as we work through the world. We're going to grind a lot. We're going to work on small, uh, lower level quests. Uh, we're going to just grind our way up to 60, and hopefully, we'll, you know, we'll get there um, without dying. That's our goal. If we die, we either delete the character or we leave it in our inventory here, uh, our character sheet, as a ghost, a perma ghost. Uh, professions, professions are allowed. All professions are allowed. Doesn't matter what you choose. I think I'm going to go alchemy uh, because and herbalism because I want to have potions to use in, in the pinch. Um, and I've debated back and forth uh, on what class to play. I've gone between hunter and warlock and shaman. Um, if you go watch Robert Rambles, he's also doing a hardcore run right now, which gave me the inspiration to do this. And he is running a shaman. And shaman's a very good, very strong choice because they have a lot of healing. They have a lot of uh, totems that can you pull taunt off of you. Uh, and I'm playing a warlock over and a, and a shaman over on Wrath Classic. So I thought, let's do something different. Um, so I'm going to pull out another hunter. We're going to do a dwarf because that's my favorite uh, race in the game. Uh, always has been. And... Well, Dwarf and Worgen, but Worgen aren't in Classic. So, Hunter's got a lot of survivability, um, and since we're already playing a Warlock, I thought that was my next choice. I think we're going to steer away from those, uh, and so we're going to do a Hunter, or we're going to do a uh, we're going to do a Dwarf Hunter. All right, back to the rules. Uh, talents. Talents are all allowed. Whatever's, whatever's in the game, you're allowed to use it. Gear and items. Uh, you're allowed to use all gear that you self-craft or obtain yourself through... Quest drops or NPC trader. So if there's if there's gear on a trader that we want to buy, uh, we can do that. Auction house, no auction house whatsoever. We're also not allowed to mail things between players. So I can't mail things to myself from another character, which I don't have any characters on this server as you can see. So that's really not going to matter. Um, and you also can't accept mail from other players or trade trading with other players whatsoever. So if someone tries to trade me something like food or a weapon or an item, we cannot accept that. Uh, we cannot use the auction house to buy gear or upgrades of any type. Uh, we can use our bank, though. So we can use the bank for whatever purposes you know we have a bank for. So whether it's storing items or gear or uh, reagents, doesn't matter. Gear is uh, Bank is allowed. Buffs and player interaction. We are allowed to accept buffs from players so long as we don't ask for them. So if someone's running around like a, uh, let's say a druid, and they cast Mark of the Wild on us just randomly, and we didn't ask for it, we are allowed to accept that. So we, we will we will take that. Uh, but we cannot ask them for it. Hey, can you buff me? No, we can't do that. Grouping, no grouping out in the open world whatsoever. The only time that's allowed is if you're grouping to run to a dungeon. That's it. Um, but otherwise... No grouping whatsoever. Uh, dungeons, you can do dungeons, 
However, you're only allowed one run of each dungeon in the game. So um, you can, and, and dungeons are are um, locked by levels. So, for example, Ragefire Chasm, uh, you can only enter it at level 18, and you have to run it by level 20. You can't run it after level 20. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take that back. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, level 18, and you cannot run it after... Uh, hang on. I'm sorry. I'm reading this incorrectly. Oh, the max level is 18, so you can't run it after 18. Got it. Okay. Uh, forbidden abilities and actions. Uh, warlocks, we're not playing a warlock. We can't use Soulstone. Shamans can't use Ankh. Uh, Paladins cannot use Bubble Hearth and no Light of a Loom plus Hearthstone, which we don't have to worry about any of those with uh, our, our Hunter. But the one thing we do have to worry about is no auto unstuck feature. So if we get stuck between a rock and a wall or something, or if we fall through the world for whatever reason, you know, due to a glitch uh, and we die or we get stuck, that's it. No more. We can't. We can't auto unstuck ourselves. Uh, mounts. We have to buy our mount. We cannot purchase any, or we can't uh, use any mounts that are given to us, like the uh, uh, Burning Crusade mount that was given in WoW Classic. Can't use that. Um, PVP and battlegrounds. We're not going to do any PVP, but you are allowed to do open world PVP. Um, let's see. Uh, again, with the dungeons, only one dungeon per run. Level range. Uh, you must be within the level range uh, of the dungeon. Uh, grouping, you're allowed to group up and travel to the dungeon and, and group up in the dungeon, but you cannot uh, kill any mobs along the way. So if you get attacked, you have to take it out yourself. Uh, summoning, uh, we are allowed to use a warlock summon. If they summon us to a dungeon and we do run a dungeon, we are allowed to group up and uh, do a war use a warlock summon. Uh, dungeon quests, uh, we are allowed to do all of those. Uh, respawns, uh, you're allowed to wait for respawns so that players may finish a quest. So... If, if let's say that a, uh, a player, uh, there's there's enemies respawning in a dungeon, uh, you're allowed to stand there and kill those respawns so that the player can kill the, can finish the quest. Uh, mage portals are permitted to group dungeon uh, to group members out of a dungeon at the end of the run. So that's it. And at the end of it, if we get to level 60, we can actually um, inform this, this group uh, that we have completed the hardcore run, gotten to level 60, and they will give us a title immortal. So that's pretty cool. So you can actually uh, like link them to your, uh, send them an email, link them to your uh, recordings, and they can they will put you on their basically immortal board. So really cool guys. I've never done this um, again. Please bear with me. I'm going to record every single thing that we do. So if it's if it's flying, if it's running between zones, um, because you never know, we may get attacked and die if we're running between zones or between uh, a city and a town. Um, so. There's going to be a lot of grinding. There's going to be a lot of running around. There's going to be a lot of uh, reading quest text and things like that. So it's going to be a little bit different than some of my other ones where I kind of skip around um, and, and try to speed up the game for you guys. So we're going to take this nice and slow. We're going to grind a lot, and we're just going to we're just going to play the game like it was in 2004. So with that being said, I have the music on loop. And uh, we're going to immerse ourselves into WoW Hardcore, and we're going to really, uh, we're going to really figure this thing out. So, welcome to WoW Classic, Season of Mastery, Hardcore Run, guys. Dwarf Hunter, here we go. Driven to discover the truth about his people's fabled origins, the great king, Magni Bronzebeard, ordered that the dwarves shift their industry from mining to archaeology. As part of the Grand Alliance, the stalwart dwarven armies have been called away to battle the merciless horde in faraway lands. In these perilous times, the defense of the mountain kingdom falls to brave dwarves like you. The spirits of the ancient kings watch over you, and the very mountains are your strength. The future of your people is in your hands. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's see. I think I can move. 
Let's see, interface. Let's do auto loot. Turn that on. We're going to leave damage off. I don't like damage. I'm going to turn pet damage off. Like I said, we're really going to kind of immerse ourselves in here. So I'm going to turn... <laughs> Excuse me. Apologize. We're going to turn turn the action bars on. Um, yeah, we'll leave all that on, I think. Colorblind options. Okay. Let's see if we can move this. I think we can. Yep. I like to move it down here. There we go. Okay. All right, so let's see. We've got auto shot. We have attack. Let's take that over there. We have auto shot over here. Hmm. Okay. Um, I thought that. I thought I turned my bars on. Did we not turn the bars on? Well, that's strange. I didn't save anything. There we go. Alright. So I like to put those here. Alright, let's do this. Dwarven Outfitters. Dwarven Outfitters, what do we have here? You look as though you might need something to keep your hands warm, hmm? I'll tell you what would help. A pair of nice warm gloves. And that and, be, and being the kind of soul I am, I am more than willing to help you provide you with a suitable pair. I have one condition, however. I need you to go get me some wolf meat. Nice arrangement, hmm? You bring me some wolf meat and I'll make sure you don't lose any digits of frostbite. Well, what do you say? Uh, bring him eight pieces of tough wolf meat. Looks like we're not the only one running a dwarf hunter this morning. All right, I've got to set. Let's see. Can I set this? I need key bindings. Action bar. Pet action. We're going to put that to here. There we go. Action button 12. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So what's... I'm really confused here. Oh, zero is missing. There we go. That's strange. What's up here? Let's see. All right, it's not Control F one. What? Where did that go? What's S equals? Where's my Shift equals? Oh, there it is. Bottom left action bar. Oh, here we go. Three, four, five. There's those. There we go. And then we'll set my. Well, let's see. Hang on. Let's see. Sorry, guys. I have to give me a moment here. I'm just trying to. Uh, just want to make sure we get everything set up correctly. Keep bindings. Bottom right action bar. I 
Make sure I move control 5 to there. <coughs> Okay, there we go. We got one through eight, or well, minus. What does say? Control five. I thought I just changed that. Unbind key. And I want this to be six. This to be seven. This to be eight. Or unbind key. Okay. There. Now that's correct. And then where Alt nine is, we're going to change that to this one. Nope, not that one. This one. Action bar, special action. Nope, dang it. That's not what I wanted. I want pet action button one. There we go. Okay, uh, now we're good. I'm going to turn. Uh, oops, wrong one. Combat. I want to see. Mm. I thought there was a way to show enemy enemy life as a percentage as well. Status text, social, no, nope. names. Oh. oh, well, that's okay. Let's keep going. I wish it showed me how many shots I have on here, but it does. Oh, it does right here. Never mind. Turn off error speech. That's annoying. I did want to loop the music because I think it kind of gives a, a new sense of immersion just to kind of keep that background music going all the time. I really like that. I guess we don't need a percentage here. It's fine. Level two, sweet. All right, we got a wolf meat. Let's head back. How are you? <laughs> Wolves giving you a bit of trouble? You do well to avoid fangs and claws and other sharp bits, yes? Oh, wonderful. Wolf meat should do nicely. Oh, don't worry, Gagron. He wouldn't. I wouldn't forget my part of the bargain. Here's one of these. Should it fit you? Here, one of these should fit you. All right, let's take the leather. Etched rune. While you were helping me out, this rune was given to me to pass on to you. Take some time to read it, and when you have a chance, I'm thinking it came from the hunter-trainer Thorgas. Take a gander at it, and go find him inside Anvilmar when you have a chance. 
Cold, Ri Cold Valley Mail Delivery. Cold Ridge Valley Mail Delivery. Hmm, I don't suppose you'd be willing to do a favor for me, lad. A stack of letters came through the pass today, but I don't have time to send them along. They're all addressed to Talon Kenai. You'll find him to the west, down by the road. He'll set up camp next to the frozen lake. What do you say? A new threat. I hope you were here to lend us a hand, Hunter. After the last Trog attack, we could use your help. We could use all the help we can get. I hear the buggers have been popping up all across the lands, and it seems that Cold Ridge Valley is no exception. They've been spotted all over the hills to the southeast and near the frozen lake. And that's not all. Just a few nights ago, they attacked and overran our camp to the west. We've been a bit short-handed here, lad, and we need some strong arms to drive help drive the trolls trogs back. Cool. All right, so let's go kill some trogs. So one thing that um, I mentioned Robert Rambles earlier is doing on his channel, his hardcore run, is he is only, he can't, he's not buying any food. He's only using the food that uh, he can cook himself. I, I see some good to that. I also see some bad to that because that's that's really hard and that makes, makes it uh, difficult. Um, can we track this? Yes, we can. Okay. Um. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to buy the food that we need because there's nothing on the classic rules that I'm using that says you can't buy your own food. So, you know, we'll spend money on food just like we're playing WoW and, you know, back when. The biggest thing is we can't group, we can't use Auction House, and we can't die. That's, to me, that's hard enough as it is, um, especially when you get into some of the harder levels or harder areas and doing some of the harder quests. But we are going to do first aid. We are going to do cooking. And like I said, I think I'm going to do alchemy for the, uh, for my profession. What did I report? I didn't report anything. <laughs> That's weird. Let's see what we get. We got a robe and bracers. Put those gloves on. So I'm just going to work our hardcore run into my normal rotation of characters and uh, recordings. So we'll throw it in uh, at the beginning of our WoW Classic um, runs. So it'll come after basic Dragonflight content. So we'll do our, I'll do my two Dragonflight runs and then we'll uh, recordings for each of my characters. And then we'll we'll throw uh, the Season of Mastery in there or the hardcore run in there. And then we'll do uh, my Shaman and my Warlock. I need a burly guys. Where's the burly guys? And we are definitely going to um, bank our money. Uh, only spend it when we need to. I'm only going to buy the uh, attacks and shots and things we need. We're not going to waste it on a bunch of other stuff. So. What can I do? 
If the problems we've had here were indicative of what is happening elsewhere in our lands, by Magni's beard, we'll ha we have some trouble ahead of us. I can only hope that the king and senate are taking steps to deal with the threat of the trogs. Uh, let's see. I'll take the I'll take the cloak. You made it. Good to hear. Bet you didn't have to track me down to. F bet you didn't have to track me to find the place either, ha? Huh? Um, our, our profession is pretty steeped in tradition, Gagron. Learning the ways of the land, learning to track a bear through the mountains, Le even just surviving on wits alone takes a great deal of courage and cunning. Think you're capable? One thing you should always remember is you've got to respect the world you're living in. The beasts that choose to fight alongside you, the shrine, shine of your weapon, the weight of your ammo, the bite of the bitter wind, and these things are. All these things you need to know in, intimately. I know what I, I know. Blah, blah, blah. I'll do what I can to help you, but most of the work's up to you. Anytime you think you're ready, come back and talk to me. I'll train you when we can, when I can. All right, let's see what you have. Um, we have track beasts, and we're not going to do that. See, I want to save up for this, and I get that at level four. All right, so for now, head out and do the mail delivery. Are there any quests in here to pick up? Yep. Can I help you? A refugee's quandary. I we drove the trogs out of Nomergon, but then it all went horribly. Then it all went horribly wrong. So now our home is completely ir irradiated, and we gnomes have been scattered all over Dunmoreau. In in my haste to get away in, away from the radiation, I lost all my personal belongings and tools. It was the trolls that got them. They stole my chest, my box, and my bucket of bolts. They took them back to their camps southwest of Ambalmar. I'm no adventurer. Could you find my things and bring them here to me? Bring them, yeah, bring them here to me, please. Sure, Felix, I can do that. Eh, no quest back here. We're also just going to use the armor that, we, that we've been picking up here in the starting area because... When I hit level five, there's a set of level level five armor if I can afford it. Um, to uh, that I want to buy from the leather worker, leather uh, vendor. All right, so I got to do the cold mail delivery. It's over here. It's over here. guy here in the tent straight ahead of us there he is I think he gives us a uh, quest to kill boars yes do you have something for me a stack of letters thank you I've been waiting for these letters for quite some time unfortunately these letters aren't all for me this one is addressed to Grillin Whitebeard Grillin Whitebeard he is not too far away if you'd like to deliver it to him if I remember correctly, Greeland's camp is down the road to the southeast. No doubt he'll be eager to get his mail. The boar hunter. Nothing like a day of boar hunting, eh? Though here in Cold Ridge Valley, there are so many boars, it almost takes the fun out of it. No need to get them charging. They'll be angry and ready when, uh, without any help. In fact, recently they've been adding. So, there have been so many boars in the area, it's becoming dangerous for me to do my daily hunting. Long story short, if you can help me kill some of the boars, I'd appreciate it.
Dang, Hoggy, you did a lot of damage to me. There's some over here. Two shields now. I need to sell them. See who's on. Yeah, quite a few hunters on this morning. A few warriors. I debated on doing warrior for the run. Um, I've never really been good war with warriors back in classic. Um, and I also thought about doing another rogue, but I thought, no, I want to do a hunter. I want to actually try this uh, before I really kind of dive into a different class. Um, rogues can be difficult. They really can at times. Now, granted, they're really powerful, but I think I'd I wanted to do Hunter because I really wanted to see if I could make it to 60 without dying. So we're going to definitely give it a shot. Um, but that being said, the Warrior, it just seems they don't have a lot of survivability in Classic. And that's the only issue. Uh, and, and, and so it's either I definitely have to go Alchemy for sure because I do not have enough. Uh, I have to have potions and make sure, you know, I can stay alive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crestolus. But I do want to, I think, you know, I want to focus on this guy for now and then eventually we're going to add, we're going to do a uh, oh I can't use mail yet that's right um, you know eventually I want to do a horde character as well so we may do like an undead warrior I'm, I'm kind of thinking that's kind of where I want to go or an undead of some sort either undead warrior or Maybe an undead warlock. I may do. I may do another warlock. Well, I you know warrior sounds good because I've never, I've never played an undead melee class. I've always done, um, I've always done like a caster with with a warlock. Wow, shields are dropping like crazy this morning. Um, so I don't know. I may do. I don't know. I'll, I'll give it a shot, but we're going to, it's going to be down the road, guys. We're going to focus on this guy solely uh, for the hardcore run for now. And then, you know, in the future, we'll, we'll see what we do. All right. Excellent. Now I can go back to my leisurely hunting now. Thank you, Gagron. I take the, take the pants. Thank you. And we're running out of inventory space quickly. I think there may be a vendor over here at this camp. I can't remember. We're going to find out. And then we'll go kill some trolls. No, maybe not. Well met. 
Is there something I can help you with? Ah, excellent. It's been a while since I've received word from Ironforge. The Troll Cave. My brother Sinir and I were sent to a different part of Dunmoreau to investigate the threat posed by the trolls. <clears throat> the Sinir has its hands full with the trogs. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I have a throg in my throat. <clears throat> so they have no need of further annoyances. From what I've seen, the trolls aren't well situated here in Cold Ridge Valley, uh, mostly the southern caves. Uh, I'd say that there, the army will, will not be necessary. A few strong arms should be more than enough. Perhaps you'd like to assist in this endeavor. I have the authority to offer compensation for your help. Be good. Okay. Great to meet you. Scalding morning brew delivery. Gah, I was supposed to get this delicious mo scalding morning brew to Duncan Fourcutter inside Amblemar a while, a while ago now. But I had to deliver one to Grayland here first. Greenland here first. I will... I'll never make it to Anvilmar before the brew runs cold. You look fast. Maybe you could take it. This cup will only stay hot for five more minutes. And Durnan didn't order chilly morning brew. So get going. Anvilmar is to the northeast, a settlement dug into the mountain. Thanks, Gagron. And don't forget to bring me back my mug. Alright, so let's go. Um, I need to sell everything anyways and then train my uh, serpent sting. And if he can't make it over here in five minutes, you know, dude, you, you need to do some cardio. You are Durnan. Ah, I'm Durnan Fur Cutter. Fur Cutter, you have something for me? Ah, good. Now this will hit the spot. Allow me to take a small break while I enjoy this scalding morn brew. Bring back the mug. Now that hit the spot. Nothing like a piping hot, nice scalding morning brew on a cold winter's day to warm your cackles of your soul. Here, here you go, Gagron. Be a pal and take this empty mug back to Nori for me. Would you now? See you soon. All right, so. Yeah, see, he has a level 5 armor set that I like to... Well, no, sorry. Actually, this is a level 1, I guess. But I don't have nearly enough money. Watch your back. But we are going to train Serpent Sting and sell some... Uh, I guess I should have sold some stuff to him. Alright, so we're going to sell this, 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 this. Actually, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That belt bag. I didn't know I had a belt. There we go. Sweet. You got my attention. I'll do Serpent Sting and Aspect. Oh, I don't have enough for that Aspect. Dang it. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Really bad frog in my throat this morning. Uh, need some more coffee, I guess. Alright, so we got Serpent Sting... I would like to grind to at least level 6, I think, before we leave the starting zone. Um, if we don't hit that automatically. 6 or 7. Uh, plus, I want to get some money to buy that armor set. Which we may not need it. Hi. I trust Scalding Morn Brew just got, uh, got to Durnan on time. Did you remember to bring, my bug, me, bring, me my bu bring me back my mug? Excellent, Gagron. You'd be surprised how many couriers I meet who forget to do something as simple as bring back the mugs. The mug. Mugs don't grow on trees, or so they tell me. Here's a little something for the effort, and thanks for your help. You. Sweet. I needed that copper. Alright. Over here to gather the tools for... Physic. Felix. I said Physic. But that's not right. And there's one at each of these camps. And we need to kill these trolls. Do 
Jeez, he's got to take some hits. Now, there's the box we need. Oh, here I'm didn't even, I bought serpent sting and I'm not even using it. Yeah, that definitely helps. Let's see, uh, what I have is better. Molding. Another cloak. Don't want to pull both those guys, but I might. Mm, nope, I think we're good. Lots of hunters here. Now, I definitely hit that guy first, but somehow the other guy got it, and this guy's stealing the chest. Pull this guy away from the camp. <clears throat> I don't want more guys spawning on top of us here. I believe this third box or third thing I need is over here in front of the cave. That was a nice crit. Yep, there it is. Okay, we, so we finished this one. Um, I'll work my way back up. Since these two hunters are kind of together, I want to work my way back over here to this other camp uh, and kill the trolls over there. Just need four more. Then we'll go turn these in, and I think I get a quest to kill the, the, the troll leader in the back of that cave, which is not easy. A lot of guys in there.
This guy had the same idea. Buy some more ammo too. All right, that's all the trolls we need. Let's go back. We'll sell this stuff. Oh, we got a pouch. Nice. I didn't even notice that. Very nice. Um, yeah. See, we're down to 75 ammo. We went to buy some more ammo. I think it's only like 10, 10 copper for 200 shot. I think that's right for like the light stuff. How are you? Arg, those bla light blasted trolls. Takes a few breaths and seems to settle down a bit. A group of them came at, in at night and stole my journal. I would better, I knew better than to trust those good-for-nothing... Alright, we'll take the axe. Thank you. My journal. They took it away to the cave. That one that had it is a big blue brute uh, with some odd markings on his skin and face. I didn't get much of a better look than that. You better, you'd had some luck with, you've had some luck with the trolls. Maybe you could get it back from me? Sure, I can do that. Um, let's see, I'll take the axe. Thank you. Let's, um, I guess let's give it a shot. We've, did get a pouch, which is nice. I didn't even notice we got a pouch. I wish it auto-tracked quests. That'd be nice. I think they added that in, in classic, because I do not remember that in vanilla. I don't remember quest, quest tracking at all in vanilla. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I just never did it, never used it. Because back then I had no idea what I was doing. Just learning to play the game. Shield. Man, shields are plentiful this morning. Nice. Level 5. I'll take it. See this guy. This guy is down here to the left in the very, very back. I'm not grouped up with that guy. There's nothing that says I can't help kill him. But if he's not going to help me, I'm not going to help you. Sorry, dude. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this guy has a friend down here. The guy I have to kill. Greeland. Or not Greeland. That's a, that's a dwarf. 
Uh, Gricknir. Yeah, I think he has a friend down here. With I think this guy comes too when I when I pull him. If I'm not mistaken. Oh crap, he has his caster. That's not good. That's it. Yep, pull him there. You got it. Definitely got to buy more ammo. I'm going to wait for this guy to respawn now. Since he just killed him. Killing these guys for money primarily because they do drop copper. Wow. So, I mean, he, he spawned as soon as his body disappeared. All right. We got it, guys. Now we'll work our way back out of the cave here. Nice. We're up to two silver. Sweet. Shields, man, I'm telling you. Shields are dropping like crazy. Be conservative of my ammo here on the way out because I'm down to 15 shots. I do not want to attack everything melee. If I could at least get one serpent sting off, I should be okay. If I have to hearth back, I will, but I really don't want to do that. I want to kill these guys for copper and items that I can sell. Huh. Oh, there's a guy out here killing them. Okay, sweet. We got out of there. So go buy some more ammo, and then I'll probably load up my ammo pouch. I definitely don't want to run out again. Gagron, any luck? Wonderful, Gagron. Many thanks uh, for retrieving my notebook. Well, it would seem that the troll situation here in Coldred Valley is under control and not much cause for worry. After putting the finishing touches on my report, I'll need someone to courier it back to my brother, Sinir. Let's see. That doesn't show you how much they're worth. Dang it. I'll, I guess I'll take the shield. Sinir's observations. I was planning on sending my apprentice to my brother, Sinir, with my report. He would feel much better, but I would feel much better if he was placed in the more reliable hands. That, of course, uh, if that is, of course, if you wouldn't mind. Hmm, I think I'll take the tunnel to get to Karnos. You'll have to take the tunnel to get to Karnos. Uh, speak with Mountaineer Thano, Thalos before going through the tunnel. It's completely infested with trogs now. Follow the road back to Amalmar and then keep heading east to the tunnel. Thalos is stationed nearby. 
All right, so now back to Ambelmore. We'll turn in Felix. We'll, we'll grab at least uh, Aspect of the Monkey. And then sell our stuff, buy some ammo, and then we'll head to Karnos. Oh goodness, Gagron, this town is not well suited for the likes of me. There are, well, many nasty creatures. There are as many nasty creatures here as there were in Nomergon before the accident. Do you have my belongings? If you don't, then who knows what the trolls may have done with them now. Huzzah! You found them. You're an absolute savior, my friend. Here, it's not much, but it's something for the trouble I put you through. Thank you. Be seeing you. Thank you. All right, so we're going to learn Aspect of the Monkey. Perfect. Now I gotta sell the stuff. Hopefully the weaponsmith has. Nope, you don't have ammo either. Right, who has ammo? Surely somebody has ammo. Actually, the general goods vendor's out here. Maybe he does. I think he's outside here. I'll put this, I think I'll put this over here. I think he's down here by this uh, cart. Or caravan. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now we're loaded up on light shot. See you soon. Perfect. We'll go to get to Kara, Kara host guys, Kara host, and then we'll, we'll log off there because that's where the end is and I can get rested XP. And right now our, our hearth is here. We don't get any rested XP here. Our Mountaineer Thalos. Hail! Have a care, Gagron. The tunnel to Dunmoreau is infested with trogs and is not safe for travel. If you haven't any pressing business in Dunmoreau, then I'll ask you... I'll have to ask you to remain in Anvilmar until the tunnel is safer. Hmm, well, if Whitebeard is sending you to Dunmoreau on important business, I can't uh, very well stop you, can I? At least let me provide you with some advice and directions. The trogs in the tunnel are extremely hostile and haven't shown any hesitation in attacking travelers through the tunnel. You seem tough enough, though, uh, so you probably... You should probably be safe. Directions? If you're going to speak with Sanir, then you'll find him in Karnos. Make your way through the tunnel, and after you come out on the other side, just keep following the road. It'll run right into Karnos. Karnos. Hand spring sprocket. Supplies for Tan to Tanik. Hey, you look like a pretty hardy adventurer. If you're planning on braving the pass, do you suppose you could bring a package to the inn in Karnos? Uh, you were planning on stopping at the inn, right? If you make it through the pass, you'll definitely want to take a breather there. Anyhow, anyways, bring this to Thanic Frosthammer, the innkeeper's assistant. I can't get enough. I can't get through the pass myself, and it'll be days before a mountaineer escort comes through. Very well, then. All right, let's do this.
I think the Mountaineers could come in here and easily clear this out and keep this safe, like you would you would think. There's not that many trogs. Ah, oh, crap. If I'm not mistaken, there's a quest up here to my right that we'll want to pick up. I think it's right here. And there may not be. I thought there was right here, this Dwarven Mortar team, but I don't see one. Oh yeah, there is a gunsmith. What can I do for you? Nice. Um, I dang, I don't have enough for the ornate one. There's three damage. This does two. Four. I'll take that. I may be back. At least it does a little bit more damage. And just gun skill increase by five. For some reason, I thought the Dwarven gun skill actually gave you a better percentage of damage, like increased damage of like 2% or something, but if all it is is 5, that's not really... That's not much. Mini Thrandir. <laughs> is it a me Thrandir? All right, guys, we made it to Karnos. We'll turn this in really quick here. How are you? How are you? I'd like to, like to share a drink with me. Perhaps not uh, much else to do in the cold. Hmm, what's this? My brother's report? Hmm, I told him I'd be, I told him to be sparring off with the use of the king's name, to be sparing with use of the king's name, but he didn't listen. No harm, I suppose, though it's sure to ruffle some feathers in the Senate. Not that those weren't some feathers are that already that needed ruffling. Ha! Huh. Nonetheless, I guess that means that should be that I should send my report on to Ironforge as well. But I must admit, I'm a bit behind. Bloody cold. I should have I should have some work for you later if you're interested. Cool. Alright, we'll pick this up. We'll pick this up later. Alright, guys. Turn this in. Hi there, come in. Take a seat by the fire and warm yourself with a flagon of ale. Ah, at last, the supplies from the hands. I was w beginning to worry that we had some scarce word from Anvimar ever since the Trogs overran the pass. Thanks for bringing it to me, Gagron, and please, make yourself comfortable. You must be tired after your journey. I'm going to take... I'm going to take the water. Make this in your home. Thank you. All right, sweet. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me for our new hardcore run. I hope everyone has uh, enjoyed it so far, and we will uh, pick it up here next time. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, and we'll see you next time.